Um, and I mean, they're like, they're together. Did they ever break up during their experience? Never? Never broke up. Met in college. She just loved her that much? She just loved her that much. And now wow. this whole, yeah. She's like, lucky. Right? Jeez. And so my roommate, the one that just got drafted that I went to Chicago with, he's the opposite. Like, he's He into, likes to play around. He likes to play around. And he's going to find a girl. Actually, he did. He's with a kind of girl now, but um, he met her at the airport and after the draft. And um, she asked if, like, I'm he played sports. I'm just escaping Johnny Maxwell's like, yeah, little angel cakes and spring salsa in them. What? Like, I know. Wow. You guys get I alcohol. We get salsa and cupcakes. Off, but, They've been connected since then, and I'm not right. saying that she is into him because he's an NFL. Yeah, but, sounds like it. But I'm saying, like, if he wasn't, I don't know if that would, you know. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, so I see that as it's better to have known somebody before. Like your first room, your other friends experience is much more genuine than someone exactly. wanting you because of that. Because, and like, I'm not saying like, like people can, okay, so, I don't know if I should be saying this, but Johnny, Penzel, okay. yeah. him? okay, so, <clears throat> I'm not saying the same situation, but his girlfriend is, I don't know, I won't get into that, but. What? Oh, yeah. Why does someone to like be no. well? If he wasn't, no way. You know what I mean? No way. Um, said I'm not saying that like now at this point that you know she likes him for who he is, but it's good, very possibly true. It's very possible, but initially no. Just for whatever mm -hmm. reason, but. And I don't want to be with somebody who is attracted to me because I'm No somebody. one's going to be attracted to you because of anything like that. Like, it's not like you're like an unattractive guy with a great, you know, career or sport or following behind you. You're an amazingly attractive guy with that bonus. That's what scares me. Okay, well... Any girl would be obsessed with you without that. No, put it this way. Out of all the ones that I've met and that I have, like I've met a lot of women and not in a way that I'm saying that, you know, I've slept with a lot of women. I'm saying I've met a lot of women and for me to not be into one of them, seriously, I wouldn't even count my ex, like as it, it was, like, I knew it was over from the start kind of thing, you know what I mean? And then I meet you, and remember, I'm like, I bring up this checklist. Like, some of these girls have everything that has a checklist on it. Like, I can check them off, like, all the boxes, and then it's just not there. So, your checklist, all the boxes plus 10 are checked. And there's also that, like, spark and connection. Yes, you can listen to like, no. you can listen to more than one, honey. <laughs> um, there is that connection, and there's a spark, and there's that. Remember, I told you that I need someone that's like type A and type B, because mm -hmm. I'm the same way. I need someone that like challenges me, but like it's not too bold. Yeah. Um. I mean, as of now, like, that's exactly what it is to me. That's what I see in you. Not too much. You get close to the line, but you never go across the line. But I had to get close to the line or else I'm not challenging you. You it's, need that challenge. I know. And you were raised the same way I was. You, yeah. you believe in the same things I do. You not too bad looking. You're a stone cold fox. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're ambitious, like, it's just that this was on and on, and just the more people that I've met before this, the more that I would meet, the more, and I, I wouldn't get discouraged, but it's just like, geez, like, 
it was almost like it wasn't even worth getting to know anyone because it was always a letdown. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and I always told myself, like, I should never go out or I should never have the mindset of, like, I'm going out to meet somebody because I always believed in that it would just happen. You would just find somebody. And little things like this, like the whole finals. Like, I don't know. It just, it's like it all fell into place. You know what I mean? For them to pick 16 people and one of those, one of them is you and one of them. For them to pick me and you and then I have that connection with somebody. It's just, it's like, it's so complex, but it's so simple. But also it's like they, they knew too. Oh, they knew for a fact. They knew right away. Like we're here for each other, on purpose. Oh. Uh, like you know that. And they did a pretty good job. <laughs> then, like I'm gonna send them flowers. And They've candy. done this before. Like yes. <laughs> I mean, like I'm gonna send them thank you cards. And, <laughs> but <clears throat> I don't know. Kind of what Vanessa said too. Like if you want it to work, I'll make it work. And. I believe in that 100%. I believe in um, there's no obstacle too big to overcome. So if the connection is genuine and if it is strong enough and if it is real, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter where you're at in your life, it doesn't matter. None of that matters. What, are the, what other people are trying to get you? It doesn't matter. And the same way like that I was with I guess my ex, like when we were dating, like I had no interest in anyone else. Like it was just like a switch and it's just cut off. Like it's, yeah. and that's why like I don't get upset. Like if I've never had it like done to me, but if I was with somebody and they cheated on me, of course you'd be, you know, mad or not mad. You'd be sad and you'd be kind of depressed for a little bit. But at the same time, it's like, if they really felt the need to be with somebody else or to do whatever they did, clearly I wasn't doing my job or clearly they weren't satisfied with me, which is fine. And that just means that they're not for you. If they needed more than what I was giving them, then... Um, then that, see you later. That's okay, yeah, right? And that's okay, like, they don't deserve my time. Oh, don't breathe, no! Don't breathe this over here. Yes. Oh. We like, so, is, this, is this our plate or? I'm sorry, we have to share. Oh my God. That's amazing, Meg. Helping the romance, you guys. Please cook these for me when I come see you in New York. <laughs> mm, you too. I'm dumb. <laughs> Meg, I need one more. I only got one.